Oh, my beautiful people out there, how are y'all doing today? I hope everybody's doing well, and I'm almost pretty sure y'all are. And if you're not, I'm still praying for you. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm not going to uh, be before you long, so that's why I'm going to jump right on into this video. Um, for, to, for you today, guys, I had a taste for a rotisserie chicken. Yeah, I have rotisserie chicken today, guys. I have cucumbers and uh, potato wedgies and got me some bee window sauce because I love dipping my chicken uh, in, in the sauce, you know, so... Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead on and say my prayers because I want to hold you here today so we can get right into the video. Dear Father in heaven, we just thank you for another day that you have made, Father God. I just come before you, Father God, humbly as I know how, Lord. And Father God, I just ask that you would just continue to bless, continue to keep us, Father God, and continue to heal us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I ask that you would uh, bless this food I'm about to receive. I ask you that it be used as nourishment for my body. Father God, remove all the impurities from this food, Father God. I ask that uh, you will continue, Father God, to uh, uh, free us from this virus. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank you, and we count it done. Yes. So, guys, anyway, um, just for the lack of uh, time, and I say that because, you know, like I always say, I know you guys are uh, uh, busy people. Brenda's, bo Brenda's beauties are on the move. So, you know, I'm not going to hold you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let you go as soon as I can. But I started a, a conversation the other day that I, I just wanted to add a little something, something to. And, and you know, against the, against the better advice of one of my uh, faithful, loyal, loving subscribers who um, asked me to just not bother to put her name out there, uh, I really don't know how I cannot do it with, and, and, and at the same time tell you guys a little bit of what I have to tell you today. So... Uh, let me go ahead on and get a little eating in. And uh, for all you who are new to my channel, um, view, um, like, share, and subscribe. You know, and viewing is very important, guys. A lot of times I go to my notifications and I see your video uh, and the notifications instead of mine. So that means that, you know, uh, you may have commented, but you didn't click on my video. And so let's view each other, guys. You know, let's have each other's back. So real support. It's real support it's, and genuine support is only genuine if you're you know going all in so uh, and, I, and I, I appreciate every one of you who are even bothering to uh, leave a co leave comments but I would really love for you to click on my videos and and quickly what I do is if, if I come across if you come down my notifications and I notice I haven't um, heard from you in a while or I haven't seen your uh, content in a while come down my feed I'll immediately click right on it and I'll go over there and uh, Say something about what you're doing on, on that current video. So, you know, just, you know, um, let's do that together. You know, I'm, I, I hope I have a support team because I am a great supporter and I know it. So anyway, guys, um, so, so if, you, if, you, uh, been, if you're one of my ride or dies who've been uh, hanging with me from day one, one of my day ones, y'all, I love y'all and I thank you so, so much. You know, I, I thank you for being there for me. You know, I thank you that we have created a bond that, you know, we know that when we see each other's uh, uh, content come down the notification feed, that uh, we're definitely going to click on there and support each other. So, mwah, I thank you guys so much. And so, anyway, I'm going to, uh, I got me, I don't have H2O today, got me a little juice today. So, uh, I chose the rotisserie chicken today. You guys, because normally when I eat the rotisserie chicken, it gets a little messy because I like to rip it apart, uh, eat it with my hands and my fingers. So, you know, and and um, a messy meal for a messy topic. It, it, it's somewhat messy. I just felt like, you know, and, and so guys, uh, without further ado, I'm not going to prolong you. I'm not going to keep you in suspense that long. I told you that I would come back and give you the lady's name who um, decided that she would be a... I don't know even what to call her. Anyway, you know, she put up the videos and saying, I do not support George Floyd. And she dug into his criminal history. She smeared him, you know, you know, because in, in, in my view is this, you know, uh, uh, it doesn't matter really what a person done in their past as long as they're cleaning it up. You know, and, you know, because, you know, we've all had skirmishes and scrapes. Some just were not as severe as others. You know, uh, I don't care if you cheated on your income taxes. You know, uh, none of us are perfect. We've all done a little something, you know. And so um, I just didn't feel like this was the right time for her to uh, go in, dive in on him like that, you know. 
So, yeah, she smeared him AD after death. So, anyway, guys, let me go ahead and, like I said, this is going to get a little messy. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, that sauce? Yeah. So, let me eat a little bit. Let me get a little uh, eating in. Uh, um, we're going to get... Into the topic. And if I didn't say her name yet, let me say it. And then you guys, I'm pretty sure uh, many of you have all say, oh, yeah, that's her. Candace Owens, guys. Candace Owens, that's the name. there look at that mm, mm, mm. that baby right there it's coming off the bones before i can even oh my <laughs> look check that out Whew. come on now get on up in here i'd like to get some onions on there y'all know how i do it mm. Nice and sloppy. Mm. Okay. Like a little bit of a, a ranch on my uh, potato wedgies. Yeah, this chicken is fire. You hear me? It is really good. Hmm. I know I'm smacking it though. I have to do it myself. It's not intentional, it's just that good, good. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, 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 mmm. Told y'all it's gonna get a little messy. <laughs> I wasn't playing. <laughs> But anyway, let's go get into it a little bit. Now that I got that cramp out of my stomach, you know that hunger pain. So anyway, guys, I brought her back up again because I was, you know, doing my regular scrolling, you know, on uh, my uh, uh, Google and, you know, the... Um, social media and so I ran across her name again and what I seen was I knew uh, because I had spoken to you guys the other day that you know I don't know maybe she needed a couple of nickels to rub together so you know I felt like uh, such a video would probably land her mm, a little bit of notoriety such as maybe it would, might would land her an interview you know and she would get a couple of nickels out of the deal you know and uh, so, you know, I just kind of felt like uh, it was uh, monetary uh, motivated. 
And, you know, come to find out, she have a GoFundMe page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has a GoFundMe page, guys. And it raised over $200,000. Uh, uh, she was running it in the name of a cafe. And you know what? Let me see. I'm so sorry, y'all, that I don't always have all my uh, info together. Uh, but uh, the cafe was, the cafe that uh, she was backing is a cafe that uh, backs the Republican Party. Um, and, you know, I mean, to, that's her prerogative. But, yes, yeah, she's, uh, she's a Trump supporter. So, you know, um, go fund me. Yank that page down. Do you hear me? <laughs> Goody. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, go find me. Yank that down. So they suspended it. Suspended it. And uh, so I don't think they. Uh, suspended the page. And what did I think they said they did with the money? With the. I think they. Uh, well, we, you know, if, if go find me. Uh, suspend your page. The money won't come off your card or however you did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I was talking to my daughter about it. And she's uh, very familiar with uh, Candace. So, you know, she had, uh, as a matter of fact, she used to follow her until she found out what Candace was really motivated by. And so she, um, I guess, um, Candace, I, you know, I call it our identity crisis. Now, she's married to a Caucasian man, which that's all well and good. That's, that's you know, I'm not saying that for any, to make any particular point, except that I assume that's the uh, environment she was raised in, you know, because uh, uh, she yeah, went to a school earlier, you know, in her years that, and where she was bullied, bullied pretty bad. You know, uh, the, the school was predominantly a, a white school and, you know, I guess she caught pretty much heck there. So, you know, so I, I just thought, well, why would that make her you know, cater. And so, you know, there's a thing called acceptance. I don't know. Maybe, you know, uh, so I, I told, I, I decided, well, what it sounds like to me is if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, because, you know, she seems like she, uh, she hates her own race. She hates her own African-American heritage. And, she, you know, she would go to any limb to drag us through the mud. So anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that part, just because I said I would, and and I'm still really not going to keep you long. Um, whoo, something almost flopped up in my eye, y'all. I'm still really not going to keep you. It's just you know I just really wanted to. Uh, uh, come before you, you know, and, 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 you know, if you got anything to say about that, or if you know anything about it, or even if you're familiar with her, because she's not new to this. She's not new to this. She's, this is something, uh, I don't know if that's how she make her living, uh, but this is something that she's been, she's been up to, up to this for some years. I, I, as a matter of fact, she's even been in and out of trouble to a degree, uh, uh, for her stuff, for her content. So, I guess she figured, wow, this would make a good headline here. Yeah, when I get these, I'll be wanting the wings off of them. And it seemed like to me, now nah, I'm no good well. Well, there it is. I know that chicken had more than one wing on it. It's hiding from me. It's hiding down in there. Mm -mm -mm. 
Everybody have a beautiful weekend? I did. Weather was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know, you know, like, I, sometimes I kind of feel like my chicken ain't as done as I would like it when I get the rotisserie chicken. I, and I don't want no slick chicken. I don't want no slimy chicken. But this one's really good. Are y'all still being safe out there? Or you, uh, do you all, all hold the opinion that coronavirus uh, disappeared? <laughs> so what do y'all think about that? How y'all handling that? Because listen, that thing ain't gone. It's subdued, but it's not gone. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. You must be eating too fast. Cause I'm getting full. But you know, it's almost to the point now where when people see you coming with the mask on, like going in and out of those stores, like, you know, you'll get a smirk or a giggle. You giggle all day long. You can laugh all day long. You can laugh until the wheels fall off of it. But uh, until I feel uh, confident that, uh, you know, uh, that Corona didn't, uh, didn't dip, uh, hibernated or disappeared, then I'm gonna wear mine. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wear my mask, and you know my granddaughter's gonna have hers on. So you know, yeah, here we come, <laughs> here we come, mask up. You know, and I just got to the point where I wouldn't wear I'm, that. I'm not wearing gloves in the store any longer because after thinking, after thinking about it, I realize. And now this is my opinion that gloves do more harm than good. Why? Mm, excuse me, guys. Why? And that's because you, you're wearing the same gloves the whole time you're in the store. Touching, sitting down, you know, touching various items and, you know, putting them back up there. So, but listen, whatever I just picked up and touched and sit it back up there, those gloves are not going to stop me from contaminating the very next item that I pick up. So, you know, so when I just, when I realized that, I thought, yeah, that's cross-contamination. You know, I'm cross, and, and, and here's another thing. You know, when I uh, get up to the uh, checkout and I see the cashier with uh, latexes on, that's all well and good. But to me, you need to change them behind every customer. Because if you don't, everything you just rang up for her and you keep those same gloves on, Whatever you got off of her items, you putting them on mine, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's the reason, you know, I just don't even bother with the gloves no more. I just, you know, I uh, sanitize. I sanitize constantly, constantly. When, and and the, the majority of the stores that I go in, you know, they, they already got somebody out there, you know, spraying and wiping off the carts, you know, and, uh, and that sort of thing. Now, um... I'm going to give me some of those sanit uh, sanitizing papers, and I'm going to hold the car with it. But I'm just saying, you know, I didn't even really even need to go all there. But I am going there simply because I just want us to be safe. And I don't want us to think that we're uh, completely in the clear. Because, you know, people are still quarantined. Uh, you know, I, I, I still know people who, you know, uh, they're not feeling no visitors right now. So, you know... Uh, you know, we just, just be safe. Just be safe, you know. We still do a, a social distance. 
in our church. You know, we we uh, we we sit probably a little bit more than uh, uh, six feet away. So you know, we still being careful, y'all. And I and I want you all to do the same. You know, I I uh, love y'all, and I'm I'm not gonna keep you. I'm getting ready to get out of here because I too have um, a few things I gotta do. As a matter of fact, I'm babysitting today. Yep. I get the babysit today, but I, you know, and I'm elated about that because it's been so long since I've seen my grandkids. So anyway, that's a joy for me, you know, that's a joy for me. But uh, I'm going to let you guys go and uh, listen, go and enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Be safe out there, you know, stay prayerful. Be, we can, it, it's never a time to quit praying, guys. So stay prayerful and, you know, keep hope alive. Hey, that should be my slogan. Keep hope alive. You know, I had a lady tell me. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, something like, um, uh, about having false hope. My fault. My hope is never false. When your hope is in God, it's always, uh, the possibility that it could take you to higher heights and deeper depths. So that's where I'm at with that. So anyway, guys, uh, I am, I, I am praying for you. I love you. And, uh, I'm going to continue to be of support to you because listen, if not, we're wasting each other's time. Let's not even waste each other's time. Let's make each other's channel do what it can do. And, you know, all it takes is us. All it takes is us supporting each other. And not just by saying uh, good content or your food look good. Well, yeah, my thumbnail look good. My food is on my thumbnail. So, yeah, so, you know, that doesn't mean that you went on my video. And, guys, you, you know, I'm not saying that I'm all that in a bag of chips. But uh, you're not, you know, you're probably not either, but I watch your videos anyway. Nah, most of y'all's videos is the bomb, so yeah. But, uh, you know, I even watch videos that I'm not even really interested in, you know, and I just do that for the sake of support. So, guys, let's get busy with that. You know, let, let's, be, let's be genuine with that. Um, uh, I love y'all, and um, stay in peace and keep hope alive.